The Made in India tag aroused a lot of questions when it comes to this tablet. The company that is behind the first lot of 1 lakh tablets being launched is a UK based company called DataWind. It specializes in making mobile internet devices like Pocket Surfer. To manufacture the $35 tablet in India, which DataWind calls UV Slate, the company set up a manufacturing unit in Hyderabad. Now that you know how this has come about, how was it made? Yes, another exclusive with us right now, the CEO of DataWind with me. Uh, when we talk about this as a manufactured price and whatever else has gone into this, is it all you're doing? I mean, there's, there's a little bit of confusion as to are they getting you the components and you're putting them together? What do you mean by your making this for them? We developed the product. Okay. We've designed it, we've developed it, we've sourced the components, we've negotiated with our vendors, uh, they provided quality input, uh, uh, ongoing uh, performance expectations, uh, very extensive levels of testing, uh, broad levels of testing, that kind of support. Okay. But the design development of the product uh, is by DataWind. Okay. Is this a made in India product? This is a made in India product. Okay. How, how is that defined? I mean, is this a loose term that we're using? Look, we're all very proud about the fact that it has a sticker called made in India. Is this a made in India product? It is made in India. Mm -hmm. How products are made today is that they require many, many components. This is not a chair that has wood and some leather. Uh, this has literally 800 components. Mm -hmm. It has a whole variety of chips and plastics and cabling and screens and touch panel and so on and so on. They're sourced from all over the world. The biggest components, the most expensive components, in fact, uh, the screen comes from South Korea. Okay. okay? Um, the microprocessor comes from the US. Uh, they're components from all over the world, mm -hmm. uh, including India, including China. Okay. Uh, if I break that up, it is South Korea about 39-40% that kind of range, okay. China around 24%, India 16%, okay. US 16%, okay. the rest miscellaneous. Okay. Then all the components come into the factory. The factory makes the boards. Okay. Okay. The boards are actually made there. Then they're populated there, they're wave soldered there, they're tested there, and then they're assembled there. Mm -hmm. okay. Made in India uh, isn't just screwdriver technology today. Okay. Made in India means making the boards. If you think of how Apple makes iPads, mm -hmm. those components come from all over the place. Right. Foxconn, the manufacturer that makes it for Apple, then assembles it. Right. We assemble it in India, we make the boards in India, we wave solder the boards in India, uh, and then we assemble and test the product in India. So that brings me to the obvious question. So if this wasn't made in India, if you weren't going for the romance of this is a made in India product and we are proud of it, could this have been made better or cheaper elsewhere? And by elsewhere, I think I mean China. I don't think it can be made better. Okay. okay. So by making in India, we've certainly not sort of said we'll accept that. Okay. In our case, we already had manufacturing facilities in China that were doing things. Okay. That was actually my next question. Did you set up a manufacturing process for this only in India for this exclusively? For this exclusively. Oh. We, we got a pitch from the minister mm -hmm. and he talked about the romance of making it in India. Okay. And he said, look, I know it's extra effort setting up a new manufacturing facility and you already have it in China. Mm -hmm. And it may be faster for you to do it in China. Mm -hmm. And if you do it in India, and you know we chose a uh, facility in Hyderabad mm -hmm. and you don't have to deal with the Telangana strikes and those things and the rest of whatever else happens in China but being able to do it in India creates a level of national pride that is very very important mm -hmm. you go to Japan you buy a Japanese made product Jap Japanese people are proud of what's made in Japan sure. Indians need to be proud of what's made in India and I'm going to come to the cheaper part also just briefly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this not only is important for India, you know, this made in India will revolutionize the world. The long term, mm -hmm. the basic manufacturing cost can be competitive with China. Unfortunately, the duty tax structure in India is not in the favor of the Indian manufacturer. Mm -hmm. In this case, for example, there are duty tax exemptions for the product. It's an educational institution, that's the right. purpose. There are no customs duties when you import it in. Okay. But when you transfer it from state to state, there are interstate sales taxes. Right. 
So if I made it in China and brought it in, it that be burden of sales taxes wouldn't mm -hmm. be there. Mm -hmm. okay. But because we're making it in India, mm -hmm. there's that extra cost burden. Okay. okay. Uh, it's still worthwhile making in India. At the same price, can you go for a, uh, we've heard stories of a capacity to screen, 3G, a faster processor, double the battery life, maintaining the same price point in say the next six months? It can okay. in volume. We certainly can deliver not only the quantity, but the price point. To get to a capacitive screen at the same price point, to get to Cortex-A889 processors at the same point, at the same price point, to get to the modem requires that extra effort. Because DataWinds technology is based on the mobile internet and what we do, what we are announcing to you first exclusively, mm -hmm. which I will announce tomorrow at the launch event, mm -hmm. is that out of this 100,000, since the 10,000 are almost all delivered, first 10, 10, the remaining 90, we're going to put a GPRS module and a SIM so that the user has anytime, anywhere connectivity. All right. So mobile connectivity, free of charge, we will do it in there. Of interest to almost everybody is, of course, how did you achieve it? So uh, I don't know I might be stretching my luck by asking you to break it down component to component in price, but it would be interesting to know how did you do it when the rest of the world hasn't been able to do it? Well, it's a structural thing and how manufacturers work. Okay. The average manufacturer doesn't get down to the real component level. They buy modules. Okay. They buy a Wi-Fi module. Mm -hmm. They buy a finished right. LCD screen. Oh, like, like they call a, 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 phone on a, on a phone on a chip. Everything is kind of put together for them, System put it chip. together, right. They mm -hmm. get a bunch of those. So the number of components for them are maybe 50 components. Okay. In our case, the number of components are 800. We remove the margin for those things. If a certain component costs, let's say, $5 to make, and that component supplier or that module supplier sells it for $10 in the market, that $5 is his margin. Mm -hmm. The average manufacturer buys it from him. The big guys, the largest companies in the world, have those in-house, but they create those as individual profit centers. Right. In our case, we get down to the component level. We have 22 years of manufacturing devices a uh, whole variety of unique differentiated devices that, you know, nobody, uh, I'll show you devices that, that in years and years nobody's been able to copy, the scanners, the handheld devices, nobody's come close to those. And we drive it to that level. We remove and eliminate the module maker's margins for the panels, for the LCDs, for the Wi-Fi modules, for all of those kinds of things. No, right. And that gives us a powerful strategic advantage. Plus, you know, we have 18 patents in this technology which shifts the burden somewhere else. And then we also focus on value-added services. So I, I know I can't ask you to name all the components. Let's just do one, which I find it very interesting. We were ridiculed for actually featuring a $35 tablet and we were told even the screen would cost more. So I know I don't want you to break the others. What does it cost you to do just the screen? Just you, manufacturing cost. For me, without me giving the exact cost, under 10. It is the it biggest is cost. Okay. It is the biggest cost by far in the whole product, okay? But under ten. For somebody to say the screen will cost more, yes, for some people the screen will cost more. Okay. For us it's under ten. Congratulations. I hope the eight million and then on to eighty million and the rest of the world, all of it happens before March thirty first next Thank year. You so all much. right. You. So you saw it here first. This then, the twenty two dollar tablet is what we call it, and remember, you heard it here. Yeah.